know, somebody who's giving them to his racehorses. Um, because you never know when the knowledge is going to become common knowledge. So let's take a look at a bird. And this bird eats nectar. Doesn't eat, doesn't eat anything off of my food plate. Never has. And Ormus isn't sweet. It tastes a little bit like milk and magnesium. <laughs> the bird is talking to himself. <laughs> Reminds me of Anne Wingmore when she gives wheatgrass to her cat. It became addictive to it. It's so healthy. She, she always wants more. Yeah. and give it to your animals and experience it yourself. Uh, you, were, you were talking to Cricket over there and commenting how um, gentle she was, how sentient. That's the Ormus. She's just totally a, a raised consciousness. Now, I, have, I know a horse, and the horse uh, takes Ormus. And I want you to notice some of his behaviors. I want you first to notice his, his eye. He has a very soft eye, which is a, a calm eye. It shows he's thinking. He's not reacting. And you'll see him licking my hand, which is a very positive horse-human behavior. He's trying to give back. You can see his response. Take everything. Go have some more with Mr. Scout. Look at that eye. Would you like your orbit? Here we go. He doesn't let one drop fall. Tastes like what? Tastes like thin milk of magnesia. Here's a partner. Yeah. Now watch his eyes as I walk away. If you like more Ormus? I can get more too. <laughs> Do you think there's conscious awareness going on in that hat mm -hmm. in that horse's? Mm -hmm. He's happy. So can you see yourself collecting Ormus and giving it to your animals? Mm -hmm. Enjoy the experience. It is, it is totally awesome to do something to raise the consciousness of the animals as well as their health. But now let's look at Ormus.